Hi everyone. Well, you know, if the smile on my face wasn't a dead giveaway, then the crazy hair and the fascinator should be a pretty good hint. It's one of the, my favorite days of the week. Hope it's one of your favorite days. It's Friday. And you know, you know what we do on Fridays. We have a little bit of dinner. We have a little wine. And I think we all know that thirsty is no way to live. And it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Friday Night Wine Diaries featuring the Wink Wine and um, a little bit of dinner. And as always, I am so, so excited to see you guys. You guys mean the world to me. I get so excited to see you guys every night and it means the world to me that you're able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you would take a quick second, hit that little subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. And today we are opening up another bottle from Wink Wine. I think this is my fourth bottle from my 14th box. My 15th box came today. There is a bottle in there that's so pretty and it just it's carbonated I think. It's got like a bottle cap on it. Can't wait to try that one. Share it with you guys but today we are having another lovely lovely wine. It's a red blend and it's from Encari and this is an Argentina wine. And it's a red blend. And it's the Estate Bottled Red Blend 2021. It's a fairly new wine to wink. I've had another Inkari Red Blend, but not this one. So I'm excited to try this one. This has got a blend of Cabernet Franc in it, some Tannant wine, a Petit Verto or something. I'm not really sure what that one is, and Malbec. And Argentina is well known for their Malbec wine, so I'm really excited to try this one. Again, so this one is a new wine from for a Wink. It's only been it's only been like 294 people that have had this and rated it, and it's got a 4.2 out of five. So that's really good. I got the top off, letting it breathe a little bit, and for my dinner tonight, oh, it's another DoorDash night. So I was in the mood for one of those barbecue sandwiches that I got from that uh, Villa, Villa, whatever, the one that's in Albertville that was that huge sandwich. So they got like four, at least four meals out of it. But, you know, they weren't open for a DoorDash night. So I settled for Applebee's. So I got their riblets, supposed to be riblets, but they're on the bone. So maybe they ran out of the little boneless pieces. I like the little boneless pieces because they're a lot easier and a lot neater to eat. But anyway, I do like, you know, ribs on the bone. And I did ask for onion rings, but I got french fries. Am I going to whine about it? No, I'm just going to eat it. Yeah, okay, I'll get onion rings another day. So anyway, excited to be having my dinner. Excited to be having it and sharing it with you guys. And I've got another new glass I want to show you. And I think I, I probably showed this when I unboxed it. This is from my good friend, Sherry, from Beauty Inside Out. She is such, such a lovely lady. And I'm going to link her below. And if you like alien stories and you get like get ready with me and some unboxings and just some some nice little chit chat. She's got two channels. There's the Inside um, Beauty Inside Out, which is more of her more formalized channel. But then she's also got Makeup Pause and Me. She's got three rescue dogs. Oh my God, they are stinking, stinking adorable. I love Max. We get to see him more than anyone else. And we get to see him doing zooms out in the yard. She's from Crystal River, Florida. And my link with Crystal River, Florida is when um, after my grandparents and um, 
my great aunt and uncle sold their traveling circus business. They opened the glass bottom boat business in Crystal River, and I used to love going down to visit them. My grandparents lived in Tampa, and then Aunt Estelle and Uncle Charlie, they lived up in Crystal River, and I would, used to just love going up to their place. Such a beautiful, beautiful area. So and I'm going to leave link both her channels below. I hope you check her out. And this is the glass that she sent me in just some friend mail. So it's a little line tumbly here. So bra off. Yep. Hair up. Well, it's up. My hair is up underneath the wig. Yeah. And uh, sweats on. I do have sweatpants on under my dress. I know. This is all about me. Pop the cork. I took the cork out already. This glass. Yeah. It's all about me. Alrighty. So thanks so much again, Sherry. And I hope you guys go and check her out. She's had some really fabulous giveaways too on her channel. And of course, you know, like all of us, she's trying to grow her channel. So if you could go and show her some love, that would be awesome. But anyway, so getting into my wine. I'm going to pour this and let it breathe. You know, I got an email today. Like I don't get enough emails, right? From Glossy Box for the Easter egg. And I had seen it on the website because I had gone on because my box for March still is not here yet. And uh, yeah, we're almost into April. This is probably going to film and uh, be posted in April. So I just went on to see if there was any hints what was going on with the boxes. And I saw the Easter egg and I'm like, oh, I love the little Easter eggs. They're so pretty. I've gotten the last two, I think. I think I got the one last year and then I got one from Look Fantastic and they're just such pretty boxes. Probably one of my Easter videos. I'll have them out in the background. But so anyway, I wasn't going to do it and it was $5 off. So it was $25. The box is beautiful and it's like $125 worth of products. If you, I think it's a pre-order. So once it goes out to the general public, if you don't uh, subscribe to the glossy box, um, it would be $30 for those of us that do get the boxes every month. It would be $25. So anyway, I'm excited for that. And so I was going to pour this and let it breathe a little bit while I chatted, but you know me, phew. Sometimes things just go right over my head. But anyway, so we have still got quite a bit of snow. It was almost hit 40 today. So much melting going on. I should probably go and check my sump pump just to make sure that it's going to be working when it really starts thawing out there. I probably still have about two feet of snow in my front and my backyard. Of course, like at the end of the driveways and things, my neighbors probably have a snow drift maybe five feet tall, maybe even higher than that. It's over that car. Maybe it's about six feet. Yeah, it's crazy. And I'm just, I have no idea why we have always lived on the wrong side of the street so that we never get that sun that really melts the driveway. In fact, the house that we lived in Forest Lake, it was kind of like a slant going down. And so it was always like a sheet of ice. But this time, who knows why we picked the right side of the street. So if, if I can get my driveway cleared enough, it melts and it stays nice. My neighbors across the street. Yeah, not so lucky. They slip and slide all over the place. But anyway, so this is what my wine looks like. Yeah, I go off on tangents sometime. I have no idea why. But you know, tomorrow I have got two tea moves from the beginning of March that uh, are supposed to be delivered. I know it's been crazy. They have probably just been so overwhelmed. There's so many Timu videos out there from us YouTubers. And every time I see someone's, it's like, yeah, I need that. Put that in my cart. But this is going to be like the first order that I put in. I think I did it March 5th and it's today's 24th. And, um, yeah, so it's finally coming, but I used somebody's link. I got 30% off that. I think it was $65 and I got the 30% off. And like I keep seeing $5 credit, $5 credit, $5 credit. Right now, that box is at $15 is what they're charging my credit card from all the credits that are on it from the late shipping. So I have no idea how much that's going to last, how long that's going to last. And the other three orders that I put in, they're all behind too. So their values are coming down as things aren't shipping. And I feel bad that they're shipping all that and the cost and being for practically nothing. I'm happy that they're standing up to that, you know, that kind of agreement that they made, they guarantee, but I just don't want to see them go under because they're going to lose so much money in the shipping and the, you know, refunding things. But anyway, I'm going to have that tomorrow. 
probably going to try to film a little bit over the weekend and then post things, uh, spread them out a little bit. Our daughter Rain is coming with her husband, Jeff, Jeremy. I was going to call him Jeffrey, but it's Jeremy and Maddie Matt and Quinn's coming. I'm so excited. I got to see Quinn last May. Oh, uh, when everyone else went to Alaska, but Quinn didn't want to go. He wanted to stay and keep up with his homework. Very, very smart. So smart. And uh, Manny Matt, he's smart too. And they are both beautiful children. Handsome, beautiful. I can't wait to see them. I haven't seen Maddie Matt since before COVID. I think it was the year before I got COVID. So it's been a so, yes, I'm not sure how much filming I'm going to get to do when they're here. So I just want to try to get a few things done and uh, get them posted later, spread out. But anyway, this is a really deep, deep purple. Um, um, I was going to say it's kind of like a brownish, brownish purple. But anyway, I'm excited to try it. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm going to swirl this around, see if we can figure out what fragrances are in here. So I smell something sweet right off the bat. Probably maybe blackberry, maybe plum. Something smoky. Something, I'm thinking anise or anisette, something like that. Who knows what I'm thinking. I think it's just all the excitement and knowing I've got this barbecue right here. So anyway, cheers everyone. Happy Friday. Mmm. This has really got some really, really nice flavors. It's nice and dry. I can still feel it kind of. The dryness is still here, soaking in. Right back here is where, where I'm sensing the fruits, the blackberries, something spicy. It's not pepper, but there's something spicy like that. Something kind of like that smoky thing, like a bourbon. I'm thinking that's bacon, but I'm not positive. going to take another little swig here. See what else I see. And if if I sense anything else. Mm. It's nice. It's smooth. I think this is going to be a great dinner wine. Great snacking wine or appetizers. Or just you just want to kind of curl up and relax with a book at the end of the night. Alrighty. So let me get my cheat sheets here. I didn't notice. So yeah, it's a 2021. Um... It's an Ancari Estate Red Blend from Mendoza, Argentina. And again, it was rated 4.2 out of the 294 people that tasted it and rated it. I'm going to have a few more sips. It's either going to be a 4 or a 5 from me. So we'll see what it tastes like a little bit later. Because sometimes you taste something and you really like it. And then after a few sips, it's not as great as you thought. And sometimes you think it's really, really great. And then after, you know, it goes both ways. But anyway, so it's saying it's a medium body. Um, it's 13.5% alcohol. Um, tasting notes of bacon, blackberry, earth, and licorice. So that maybe that's that anisette type thing that I was kind of sensing and a little bit of heat back here. Alrighty, so it says channeling the spirit of the ancient Inca empire. Incari is a powerful red blend that shows shows the soul of Argentinian wine. Uh, the Incari myth is one that has been passed down to generations and is a famous legend of the Andean culture. It centers on the last ruler of the Inca Pink people and his desire to return and restore peace between Mother Earth and her children. With respect for ancient wisdom and a connection to the land, Inkari Estate aims to preserve the identity and the authenticity of Argentinian wine. This single vineyard estate bottled red blend is made from, I'm not going to butcher this word, just giving you a forewarning, biodynamically grown grapes grown in a carefully tendered vineyard. A blend of Tannin, Malbec, Cabernet Franc, and Petite Verdot. It's a unique blend that is bright and fragrant. Lush notes of dark berries, underbrush, chocolate, and licorice are underscored by well-integrated firm tannins. It's the perfect selection to pair with grilled 
filet of beef, hard cheeses, or cured beets. They say it's 28% tannin, 21% Cabernet Franc, 15% Malbec, and 36% of the Petite Verdot. It says how to serve it is cellar temperature, and on the back it's got, um, it tells me, I guess, what that is. So they're saying cellar temperature is 65 to 70. So I, I don't know, is that, is that warm? Um, so right now mine's at 63 because that's what my house is set up um, already. And it says it pairs well with burgers, ribs, I've got ribs, cured meats, and barbecue. So again, I am looking forward to having this. I'm so excited that you guys were able to stop in spend a little bit of time with me. I can't not wait to show you the 15th box of wine that I've got and the one that's got like the soda cap top. I mean, it's kind of like a green. The label is really pretty. You know, those is what used to get me back when I was uh, going to stores and buying things on my own was the label drew me in. And of course I didn't always have the best luck, but I'm excited to try this one. I'm so excited to share it with you. I am going to love having my Inkari wine in my fancy glass here from sherry beauty is you inside and out looking forward to having that and looking forward to getting that easter egg now from glossy box and looking forward to opening up some timu tomorrow you will probably going to see this video way after i open up my timu videos because yeah i can't wait I, I i need to open them and i hope everyone goes out and has a fabulous fabulous weekend. I love you guys so much and I'm so thankful for your support. You guys mean everything to me and I'm just so amazed. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Take care everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video. Bye.